Hey, what's up, you guys? So yesterday I talked a little bit about um, when you focus on yourself, then you start yourself starts to develop and um, keeping your energy to you and not giving all of your energy away. So today I wanted to give you guys a quick visualization of what it's going to look like and what to expect when you start to develop yourself into God, who, who God wants you to be. And when you start to put your pour your energy back into you and instead of giving all of your attention to these energy vampires. Um, but you already know what time it is, you guys. I'm your girl, Ebony Eyes, your number one life coach here to raise the consciousness of humanity. If you are not subscribed to this channel, you're going to want to subscribe because this channel is good, full of knowledge and juicy and overall good for self-development. Um, okay, so let's get right into this. In this bowl, I have just a little bit of dish soap, and the dish soap represents um, the new you. You cleaning up your act, you cleaning up um, your your thoughts because our thoughts become our thoughts become our reality. You cleaning up those bad those old bad behaviors. You really stepping into the cleanliness, okay? And we're gonna sum all that up and call this God's glory, okay? This is God's glory. And in this bowl, I have like a bunch of different seasonings and some water. So it's just water and a bunch of different seasonings. And this bowl represents um, the drama we used to engage in, the old patterns, the old habits, um, self-doubt, fear, um, trauma, anything that you could think of. Um, hanging with the wrong crowd that we know we shouldn't be hanging with. Um, bad behaviors, um, using using people, swindling, anything that is not of God, anything that holds you back from being your highest self. This is what this bowl represents, okay? So we're going to dip our finger in here because we a mess, okay? We got all that drama. We got all that baggage on us, okay? But it's okay. We've all been there and we're focused on developing ourselves. We're focused on getting here, becoming a better person, a better version of who we are, who God wants us to be, Okay. So what happens is when you dip yourself in God's glory, we're going to dip ourselves in God's glory. When you dip yourself in God's glory and you start elevating, you start focusing on who you are, you start tapping into becoming a better version of yourself, and you really start uh, making better decisions that align with those goals, you stop hanging out certain places that align with your vision, you stop um, part participating in, uh, in the gossip and the drama because you know that it's not conducive to your mind, your mindset, and your vibration, you protecting who you are because you focused, you got God's glory all over you, okay? But the, the mess has to fall off slowly. So when you start to focus on who you are and then you go back to that crowd, you go back to the crowd of who you are, this is what's going to happen. You see how you see how there's an empty circle around me? You see how there's an empty circle around you and how everything has dispersed from around you? That is what's going to happen. Okay? You see how everybody is fleeing away? You see how the 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 path is made clear? And at first it might look a little bit lonely because because they can't stand to be around you. Because they can't stand to be around you. So it, it might get a little bit lonely. But I don't want you to focus on the loneliness. I want you to focus on the ascension. Because once you get to a certain wakefulness of where God needs you to be, you'll attract your tribe, okay? And let me just tap in a little bit into why this happens and why people flee from you. When you start to elevate and you no longer participate in the things that you was doing, you no longer align with the people you hung out with. You no longer align with those behaviors. You no longer align with the crowd that you used to run with. You know, you, you might not no longer align with the same job. You no longer align with the same things that you attracted to where you was when you was in that lower vibration. We're going to call that vibration a two, okay? You're trying to get to a 10. When you attend, you do not align with people who are a two. You do not align with old habits who are a two, okay? You can't be a 10 hanging out with the twos, and that's just a fact. And there's going to be multiple reasons on why people flee from you. Maybe some people think, oh, she thinks she better, so let me just try to ghost her and uh, make her feel away. Or um, or they might be ashamed. There might uh, There's a lot of people who might be ashamed, like, oh my gosh, you know, um, I, I drink and smoke every day. I smoke cigarettes. I do this, and I spend all my money. Don't get me wrong, you know, live your life, you know, to a certain degree, however you want but um you know there's my people who, who who don't know how to attract money and they they spending all their rent money on this and, and that and they using it as coping skills and and trying to um heal their pain and so when you when you come around they know that you operating in love they offer they know that you making a better you 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 focused on you you elevating your mind you elevating your body you elevating who you are as a person and so when you come around that light and they feel ashamed of themselves because they're because they're not elevating so so they so they feel like like, oh my God, like maybe she's judging me or, or this or that or, but it's, it's just the energy, baby. You don't have to be doing anything wrong or judging him. It's the energy. They won't be able to handle it. Okay. 
So start to focus on who you are. Dip yourself in God's glory, okay? And I promise you, things will get better. Think Your life will start to change. The things around you will start to change. What you start to attract will start to change, okay? Because those old patterns, those old habits, that old tribe, that old vibe, they gotta go. And it's going to flee as soon as you start to, to develop yourself. As soon as you start to elevate yourself. As soon as you start to make better decisions. As soon as you start to make... Um, to, to start focusing your energy into better into better areas and better places. As soon as you start protecting your vibration and stop allowing all those negative things, the drama, the um, the gossip, the bad decision making, the bad habits. As soon as you get that out of your life, then it's gonna fall off, baby. And God's glory is going to shine, okay? It has no choice but to. I love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Um, Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how your self-development journey is going, okay? I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave me a heart. Pour back into me as I pour into you guys. Have a great day.